The Beppin X Config Manager is the number one tool to make your modded adventure in Valheim as easy as it could possibly be, while also being completely and totally customizable exactly how you want it. Here, I'm going to show you something about it, show you how to install it, give you some information. And if you do find this video helpful or like it, then please do hit that like button, consider subscribing and hit that notification bell, and maybe check out my Twitch. It's in the description below. So what is the Beppinex Configuration Manager? Essentially, the Beppinex Configuration Manager is a tool that is a menu that you can access in game. And that menu is connected directly to all the YAML and JSON files in the config folder of the Beppinex directory within your Valheim folder. It can make live edits to those files and update them in real time to your game which means you can make adjustments to your mods without ever having to close the game and open it up again. There are still some changes that you will have to make that you will have to restart the game for, some of the ma more major ones, but a lot of them, such as value tweaks, such as amounts and all sorts of other things like that, you can make in real time and it will update in-game. Now, of course, that doesn't play with multiplayer. If you are running a server, then you are going to have to update the server with the configs and then push the configs out to the clients and the, that are connecting to it and all of those things is a lot more in depth but if you're playing single player then the Beppinex configuration manager allows you to essentially update in real time mods make ch changes make adjustments it has uh, a great many features as you can see uh, at the top here you have normal settings keyboard shortcuts advanced settings and debug mode now, by default, only normal settings and keyboard shortcuts are enabled. Advanced settings adds more extra things. I would argue that you kind of want to stay away from any of the advanced settings that, that come up in yellow if you have them ticked, unless you know what you're doing. If you're not 100% sure that you know what you're doing, don't touch the advanced settings, keep them off. Same with debug mode. Just run normal settings and keyboard shortcuts as default. And then grab your favorite mod and begin editing it. Now, a lot of you were asking me about this menu during my creature loot and level control video. And so here we go. I'm gonna pull up creature loot and level control and go through it a little bit. Uh, so here you can see that it's made very, very clean and very, very simple with everything being slider based. Reset that to 40 uh, with nice, easy reset buttons and then additional drop down menus when drop down menus are, when there are only a few options for something and then numerical entry bars for when you want to, when you, it's asking you to enter a specific number. Everything is made incredibly easy. It describes what it is. And there is often a tool tip when you hover your mouse over them to give you even more information. And then you have your options that you can choose and then a reset button to set them back to default. Then you also have a search setting. So if you have a lot of mods, so for instance, I'm currently got the Bloodheim pack installed, more on that in another video. Um, and there is quite a lot of mods in the Bloodheim pack, and this isn't even all of them. This is just the ones that are actually have, like have config files that can be edited. Then if you are looking for something specific, then you can use the search bar, especially if you're using something like Odin plus QOL, which as a mod is incredibly detailed in configuration. <laughs> then the search bar is huge. For instance, um, you can like have everything like this and say I want to change uh, my storage space, then I can just search storage and immediately we get a bunch of options. We get auto storage options with Odin plus QOL. We get the storage space inside smelters, blast furnaces, ISO refineries, charcoal kiln, windmills, spinning wheels, and astro gem cutters with the conversion size and speed mod and various other things. And then we can search rows. And if we search rows, then we get the containers section of Odin plus QOL, where we can set how many chest rows are in each of the, these, these things. Or we could search for columns to get the columns. Or if we wanted everything, we could just search for containers and we would get all of the container options, including also the craft from containers part of Odin QOL as well, which allows you to craft directly from containers. The Beppinex config manager also includes config editors for YAMLs directly in editor. So if the mod that you're using uses YAMLs, then you can edit them through the config manager. For instance, creature loot and level control has a creature YAML config and an item YAML config. And if you click on the edit button here, it comes up with your YAML editor. And this is 
a very, very simple thing. It is essentially just a notepad file, a text file, and you can add, you can edit it as if this was a notepad client and you can just set wherever you want your mouse cursor to be. And then you can start typing. And the creature gluten level control obviously comes with a bunch of examples. But for instance, I can type Ike there and then uh, a semicolon, enter space space, and then type damage five. And now Ike there is going to do 500% damage. Simple as that. And the bottom of the YAML editor here will tell you if your configuration syntax is valid. Uh, so if you have any errors in your syntax and anything you've written, it will immediately tell you that there's, there is an invalid configuration syntax and you can go back through and make sure. So as soon as I say, you know, like five, um, as soon as I say, forget the semicolon and I just do damage five, then it tells you right here, there are errors in your creature config .yaml con config. All top level keys must be a mapping got unexpected system string for key Ike there. So I can then see this go. Oh, I'll check my Ike there. Ike there damage. Oh, I'm missing a semicolon. There we go. Configuration syntax is valid. Easy as pie, sorted and simple. And then you can save and apply and that will update immediately. You can apply without saving, which will apply temporarily, but the next time you open it up, it won't apply or you can just discard and close. So that is the Bepinex configuration manager. It is a fantastic tool and one that I literally cannot function without anymore when playing modded Valheim. And I have a feeling that anyone that does use it will end up feeling the exact same way. Now, if you do really want this mod, here's how to install it. So to install the configuration manager, all you need to do is go onto the page uh, on Thunderstore, which will be linked in the description below. And then you're just going to want to click install with mod manager and then let your browser open R2 Modman and it will install it into your profile right here. Simple as pie. Now, if you want to install without using R2 Modman, then you're going to want to click manual download. Then you're going to get a zip file like this with a bepinx folder inside it. And then that bepinx folder, you're just going to want to drag it into your Valheim folder. It's going to extract into bepinx sorted, and you should then find it in plugins. And there it is. There you go. And there we go, guys. If you have any mods that you would like me to cover uh, in one of these videos, then please do say so in the comments below. But otherwise, make sure you hit that like button, consider subscribing, and I'll see you next time.